It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Come on. You! No leaning without cleaning. So, it's another chance for these fine folk to show off their mathematical skills and get out of Maths Mansion. Oh no, and another chance for you to test your brain cells to destruction as you watch the saddest man on television. Worms! Just when you think they've gone, they come back! There they all are. I've just woken them up. They've got their eyes open. Do you remember them? And how we made a bedspread for them? And we did that. We found the area for the bedspread by multiplying length times breadth. <laughs> we even made a little song about it. Six flat worms lying in a red bed Feeling very cold because they hadn't got a bedspread Make a bedspread, what will be the area To cover up the worms and stop them feeling barrier? One side times the other Gives the area to cover To keep them nice and cosy In their little bed You won't get in a tangle When you measure a rectangle if you remember, area is length times breadth. Let's meet some more worms, the contestants. That's very rude. Believe you me, I haven't even started yet. Now tell us who you are while you've still got our attention. I'm Sarah McNicholas from Swansea. I'm Nico Jakes from London. Right. Now, it's easy to measure the area of a rectangle like this. Area equals length times breadth. So? Length, 30 metres. Breadth, 10 metres. Area is 300 square metres. That's easy, but how do you measure the area of this shape? There's only one way to find out. Ask a sheep. You're encouraging him now. We don't want you in this program, sad man! Well, here's our sheep again, back safely home after his adventures on the motorway. <laughs> now, do you think there is enough grass to eat? Well, let's see if the farmer can work out the area of the field. Now, he can't work it out straight away because it's not a simple rectangle. Look, it's all over the place. But if he divides the field like so, he's now got two rectangles to work out the area. This one for the sheep and this one over here for the fierce duck. Ow! Ooh, he bit me. <sighs> Add the fields together and that will be the total area of the whole field. So, that's a big rectangle of 20 by 15, so that's 20 metres times 15 metres equals 300 square metres, and a smaller rectangle that is 5 by 10 metres, so that's 10 metres by 5 metres equals 50 square metres. Add the two together and that's a total of 350 square metres. <laughs> and that is how you find the area without too much effort. If you're finding out the area and you're rather wary of the amount of effort that you have to make, 
To approach from the best angle, divide the shape into rectangles, and now you'll find the job's a piece of cake. Because area is A times B, so you can do it easily. You'll get the information to make the calculation, you'll soon know what the area should be. Two areas you had to find, now they both must be combined, two lots of A is L times B. Oh, excuse me, madam. Have you had your area measured? Uh, I think so. You haven't? What we are doing is we are giving you your own personal private area. Now, how am I going to calculate the area of this strange shape? Oh, I know. I'll get another piece of fence. Yes, here's another piece of fence. Now, young lady, would you mind moving over? Oh, now, this is going to make it very easy to calculate. A square and a rectangle. Now I can work out the area. One metre here, so it must be one metre over there, by two, so it must be two metres over there. Two times one, that's two square metres. Now, how about this square? A square, one metre by one metre. That's one square metre, because one times one is one. A total of three square metres. Are you happy there? Yeah, thanks. Hmm, let me see you finding the area of this shape. Clock's ticking, go. Divide the shape. Gonna do it this way. Top left. Five metres by five metres, that's 25 square metres. Top right, eight metres times five, that's 40 square metres. All right, come on, come on. Got to work out this big rectangle. This bit is opposite this bit, so it must be five metres. And this whole line's 10 metres. So 10 take 5 away makes this line 5 metres. So this rectangle must be 20 metres by 5 metres, that's... Come on, 5 twenties. Um, 100. Total 5, 60, 165 square metres. Yes, one last one to do. Looks easy. Oh, but you're not allowed to do any adding. What? You have to take away. I get it. If this is a whole rectangle, it will be 10 metres by 7 metres, 70 square metres. But there's a tiny rectangle missing with an area of 2 times 1, 2 square metres. But that's got to be taken away. 70 take away 2 square metres, that's 68. Too late. Right answer, but too late. So, no maths card for you. No fat farmer. Ooh. Shoo! <sighs> They're no closer to getting out of maths mansion. Could you get out of maths mansion? I wonder. All the sides of this shape are two metres long. Find its area, first by adding, then by subtracting. And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it, there's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> this week, the sheep didn't get out of the field and wander off onto the motorway, oh no. They built a motorway through the field instead. Oh no! Run away, sheep! Run away!